Hello VR addicts, welcome to my channel. I am Paolo Triani and today we're doing a first impressions of Weapon Genius VR. So yeah, it's about making your own kind of weapons and using them in shooting ranges. So yeah, making your own weapons, huh? So it wasn't just going to take a few seconds to make that gun, so it took a few days, and uh, here's my result. What? Why is it so small? It's tiny. I mean, that's not even going to do much damage if you manage to pull this trigger. Oh, wow. Oh, that was your neighbor's car. Settings, I have to say, only is the language, okay? New game is basically, if you've already got, uh, you know, a gun set up and all that. Okay, so my first impressions generally is the scale is way off. Now I, did, I was on the index just a second ago, well not the index, using the index controllers, and I was using the uh, HTC Vive Cosmos Elite. And I thought maybe the scale was something to do with that. Now there is music in this and I haven't got the music turned off because you know, ugh, it's not cool. Weapon of mass destruction. Uh, why is that not in English? <laughs> right, so uh, these have percentages of what would make it good and I just grabbed the gun. And I just locked it on the ground. This that sounds pretty good, but the scale, it's like, it's like I'm a child right now. Okay, well, start button, button, <laughs> button three and button four. <laughs> okay, all right then. Well, this is a cheap game without the um, without the uh, general. Uh, discount that's on right now for it it will cost um, you six pound which is what that seven dollars or something like that I haven't got my FPS counter up but when I was using the 1700p of the elite cosmos um, it was running smooth so if it's not running smooth it's because of OBS normally uh, so yeah we can only afford the free stuff right now right what do I have to answer a door doorbell just went oh it's up there right okay so that's that and then we're gonna need a box standard magazine so we have to buy all the stuff first obviously butts is not something we can buy right now by the looks of it because oh well, my balance is 250 but so we could buy a butt but it's gonna have to be a cheap one accessories is something we can't well we can buy silencers and then you got your four grips then you got your lasers then you got your skins so the skins so it can be quite a fun game let's buy a butt though okay, we want a thick butt don't we we want a nice thick butt that's not an in the window in the window in the window i don't even know if i can say that word uh we can afford that uh, genius guns one or this is flickering like the anti and the lazing is just I don't know I don't like flickering so we're gonna go with the El Dorado anyway because if we've got El Dorado maybe we can afford a very cheap so close oh I can get that one so if you click on that, that says 1.24. If you click on that, it's 12. If you click on that, it's 13. So clearly this is a bit more beasty. This is actually a little bit more beasty than that one, right? So there you go. And then that's basically it. I can't afford anything else. I should have probably got a grip, but there you go. So now I just grab my, like, is this my magazines or something? 
and then to start this thing's moving am I supposed to just yeah now it's telling me to weld okay uh, it's not my welder where's my welder here's my welder my welder looks cool Okay, ladies and girls and gentlemen, uh, my rifle butt is welded on. Now, I'm thinking that you should have been wearing some glasses when doing that. Okay, so let's put the uh, barrel on. This doesn't look like a barrel at the moment, but it will. Oops. I'm working it, I'm working it. Eh. There we go. Ah, we've got to weld this as well. Can't just weld that, surely, because it didn't look right at the moment. So it's, it's not, not a rubbish game. It's, the scaling is the biggest problem with this game so far for me. I mean, it is not fun. Now, I don't know if they're aware, but when it comes to these things, they just go on the rail, okay? This doesn't look great in my hands. I mean, it should. I feel like I'm getting some frame drops now. Okay, screw. Ah, oh. all these brackets here. For some reasons, you got to screw this in. Oh, it's got a weird angle, and it's doing the it's it's doing the welding sound again. <laughs> right. Screw them in, and I. The thingy sounds like a welder. I mean, surely that's just a sound thing, right? Surely you can just change that. Right, so let's grab my gun, which is now on the... Okay, here's my badass gun. I don't know if I can dual hold it. The sight has no dot on it. And it literally looks like it needs a skin but it's a start, it's a start, okay? Let's have a look at the valley, because last time I, okay, here's my gun. And yes, you kind of have to pick it up again. And uh, then there's this second counter, I don't know what that's about. I guess you could probably grip it if you had a grip on it, right? <gasps> my mag. Am I supposed to wait for this or is this how long I've got to shoot? No, that was how long I had to shoot. All right, I get it. It's like that, is it? Go back in again. Try the anger. Size of my gun when it drops. How many rounds do you have in this magazine? That magazine is just pathetic. It really is. Do I even earn money? Did I earn any money? I don't. Yeah, I think I earned two dollars. Magazine is embarrassing. God damn. Ah. 
How much money do I earn there? Ah, it's just going to take you a long while to earn anything to get other stuff. Holy crap. So I just need to keep going, getting into the game then, really, don't I? Do I have to actually be carrying my gun? I do. So every time you've got to come over, pick your gun off the uh, bench, come over here and then uh, pick a map. The accuracy is, is just as bad as you'd expect from an early gun that hasn't got a lot of stuff on it. There you go, there is Weapon Genius VR. That's my first impressions, and it was generally quick because the game is not huge. It does take a lot of time to actually build on a lot more items in the game. So yeah, but let's generally talk about it. Graphically, it's not the most fantastic game in the world, graphically, but it's okay. It does the job. But as you completely heard me in my video, the scaling is way off. It looks absolutely terrible. The guns are oversized. The drills are oversized. I feel not the right height. Everything just feels way off. The scaling is just bad. But the audio, what does the audio sound like? Well, the audio is not too bad. I mean, when you drop it and the clicks and the shooting is a bit kind of dull, but you know, it's kind of there for this kind of price of game. The only issue that I really would have is the fact that the drill sounds like a welder. Yes, which you may have seen as well. Yeah, so the welder makes a nice welding sound, but the drill also makes a nice welding sound. I don't think that should be the case, really. Um, so what about the gameplay? Well, yeah, you get to actually weld on parts and attach parts and screw parts on, etc. That is pretty damn cool. And obviously you can only get these parts by going in to a little shootout area, which is like a shooting range where you get to shoot targets. And the faster you shoot these targets, or the further away you shoot these targets, the more dollars you earn. And with that Do Re Mi Fos O, you can buy more accessories and make your gun even more badass. The only issue here though is that, well, it's going to take you a long time to make any kind of money in the game so you're going to be spending a lot of time in that shooting range trying to get some money i reckon that if you got it down to a t you could probably straight away at the beginning only make about probably 30 dollars per time 30 seconds of being in there so because it times you yeah it gives you like 35 seconds or something like that so yeah and you don't start with your gun in your hand and there's no manual reload it's kind of automatic so that's disappointing. There's no cock in your gun. That's kind of disappointing. There, I couldn't dual hold it, but I think maybe when you get the grip, you could probably can, or maybe there was a button I was missing. Mm, it's not supposed to support the uh, index controllers, but they were working for me. So that's good news. I'm not sure about the index headset. So someone else might have to try that, but it was working on the Cosmos Elite. So that means that it should probably work on the Cosmos, but with the Cosmos controllers, I'm not sure about. Um, so generally the game is very cheap, it's six, uh, six pounds, about seven dollars, somewhere in between for euros and it's on sale at the moment with 10% off or something, so it's about five pounds something. Um, so what do I generally uh, think of the game overall? Would I recommend it? Well, no, not really, not with that scaling. I, I, that scaling is pretty damn bad. I reckon they need to really fix that for a start. But I think for a fun little kind of welding parts onto a gun and enjoying that little part aspect of it, the game is quite a lot of fun. And um, I can imagine some real gun enthusiasts that can't be a, a gun enthusiast, for instance, people that live in countries with more tighter gun controls, um, would probably enjoy something like this, you know? But with the scale in, it's hard to recommend. Um, but it's my first impression. So really, it's about you watching back this video you watching their videos and other people's videos and generally making your own decision here if it's your type of game. So if you like this video, please give me a like and also subscribe because it goes straight to the heart. Hit that bell button if you want to watch more VR content like this. Also leave a comment below of anything you may have seen today. 
Thank you for watching. I love you long time. Ciao.